So today we are going to be making a quilt rack or a ladder blanket, whatever you want to call it. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking two of these 1x4s. These are both 10 foot long. This will give us everything we need. First thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be cutting all the rungs of our ladder out. Each of our rungs, our four rungs we're going to have in this ladder, are going to be 22 and a half inches long. That lets the width of our ladder blanket be 24 inches, two foot exactly. And we're going to be right at six feet tall on this thing when we are done. Okay. This one we're building is going to hold four different quilts or blankets or whatever you want to call on it. So yeah, let's get after it. Here we go. One thing to note, when you're cutting your rungs, do two out of each of them. Otherwise, you're only going to have enough material left for one of your sides. I've made that mistake before. Don't do that. Two rungs out of each board. Let's do this. four rungs now. Now it's time for some pocket holes. Let's go do it. Alright, so just finished putting two pocket holes in the ends of each of these rungs of our ladder. This is going to let us attach it to the two sides of our ladder. If you don't have a pocket hole jig, like this K4 right here, which I really like. My buddy left this here, and it's much faster than the one I got, so I used it tonight. But if you don't have one of these, you're more than welcome to just put some screws in through the sides, right into the rungs. That'll be just fine. I just really like this. It kind of hides them out of the way makes things look a little nicer, a little cleaner. So before we attach these to the sides, what we're going to do is we're going to go and put 10 degree angles on the top and the bottom of our sides. And that just lets this blanket ladder rest nice and easily against the wall. No sharp edges, putting holes in the wall or anything like that. And it just makes things look a lot better. It's these little details that really kind of put yours above and beyond everybody else that has these listed on Facebook marketplace. Cause there's a lot of them out there. Some are really crappy, some are really good, and it's these little details that really help you stand out. So that's what we're gonna do now. 10 degree angles on the tops and the bottoms, and we're gonna make us a blanket ladder. So let's get after it. So now we've taken the sides of the ladder. I've actually clamped them together to make these cuts a lot easier and just to make sure everything is exactly the same because you don't want the two sides of your ladder being different. So miter saw is at 10 degrees. First things first, we're gonna cut the bottom of this right here. So hang on. Let me draw this up a little better. There we go. Nice and square to the fence and 10 degree cut. Here we go. So it's the bottom. We're gonna make a 10 degree cut at the top as well. To do this, I'm just gonna rotate this thing 90 degrees, place it up against the fence, and we're gonna take 10 degrees off this side over here. I like to bring my blade down, make sure it's gonna look in a good spot. Make sure we're nice and square against the fence, and 10 degree cut up here. Something like that. So yeah, this is what we're really looking for here. If you want to at this point, take them, set them up against the wall, make sure you're happy with that. But yeah, we got the sides of our ladders. Now, before I put these together, I'm gonna sand everything real quick. I'll do that off camera and then put some pocket holes in, put this thing together. So I'm gonna go sand. I'll see you guys in a second.
All right, so all that we have left to do now is either paint or stain this thing. This one is actually going to end up being painted white, which is a pretty popular option for me right now. So let's take this paintbrush. We're going to make this thing white. And there it is. All finished up, painted, and ready to go. So yeah, that's a blanket ladder. If you guys got any questions at all, be sure and leave them in the comments down below. And like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for joining, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.